the things that you were saying to her, I mean, like, she was very immature, like mentally, but I feel like when it comes to domestic abuse, like there are certain situations that are just different. You know what I mean? Nope. And I feel like, you know, you were saying like, oh, was a restraining order like in effect? Did you call the police? And the uh, first thing I asked was during the, she said it was over because the domestic violence I said was during the, with, the, with the police call. Yeah, but some people do have those situations, you know? So? Most people don't. Ma'am, do you not understand? I'm, an, I'm a men's advocate. You know how many times you know how many times women claim abuse, have no proof, and ruin men's lives. How many times do women claim abuse, ruin a man's life, and they don't even go to jail for filing a false police report? I mean, I'm aware of that, but some... do you have any brothers? I have one brother. Mm -hmm. um, you have any sons? I have one son. Okay, uh, advocate for him. Don't always advocate for women. What I said was accurate. Do you not hear that she was still talking about dealing with her beat, her child's that's father? True. Yeah, that's true. See, that's the point. As soon as y'all hear domestic violence, you immediately go to defend the woman, skipping past your son and your brother. Not realize you're talking to a liar. I know, I know. That's, that's why was women... In, my brother was in a very similar situation as well. That's why women say it, because they can rely on women like you to put on your Supergirl cape and defend them. And then say, well, there are cases. You know, the cases that, that that merit, in my opinion, are the cases where women actually say it and do something about it. Yeah. Why should we listen to women who don't do anything about it? No, I agree. I okay. Agree. Okay. So I listen to those cases. Mm -hmm. But when a woman doesn't have it, she didn't do anything about it. Why should I listen? I agree. I don't okay. know. Maybe I defend so, you know, for myself. Yeah, no, you, for your, but but it's not about you. See, the thing is, you guys come in and put your cape on for women who you don't even ask questions. You just, she said it, we got to defend women. I want to know why you ladies are so quick to defend women you don't know who have no proof. I don't know. I feel like everyone's in different situations, you know? Ma'am, you just, okay, you, you realize you're contradicting yourself. <laughs> You're contradicting yourself. You, I asked you, everyone's in different situations. If those situations, the woman did nothing about it, should we believe her? Proof. <laughs> proof. If she has proof, yes. And proof means what? Um... I know what you're going with this. I know. I'm, no, I'm asking you. I, I know what I think, but I'm asking you as a woman. What's proof? If no, police... I know because that was that was my situation. My situation was I called the police. I had a restraining order. I had all those things in, in okay. place. No. Okay. And okay. Got... See, this is another so... thing. You guys automatically make it about women. I can be talking about anything, and women will make it about them. That wasn't you. So if a woman says something about domestic violence, what proof should be required before we believe her? Um, I feel like documenting those things. Um, documenting them how? Photos, videos, uh, evidence, you know, and protecting yourself from that. So. Okay, I need you to be a little bit more specific. Who's documenting them? I know what you're saying. No, like I'm asking, I'm asking, no, I'm asking you. Photos, videos can be made by anybody. I'm asking you as a citizen. You have to be fair. Who's, who's documenting this stuff? The police. <laughs> Is that what you really believe? No, I do because that's what I did. I protect All right, myself. all right. Okay, so I said when women come up and claim domestic violence, I immediately asked, were the police involved in other reports? 99 times out of 100, they have it. And I said, then I don't automatically believe you. But all, but it but never fails that women like you automatically hear and you jump out and put your Supergirl cape on and you want to defend the woman over your son, over your brother with no proof from a stranger based upon 
usually based upon themselves. Because you see something in her, but she was lying. So, do you see the problem with society these days? Women like that can get away with lying and it costs good men. There's a football player, Brian Banks. He spent five years in jail. The woman who accused him of rape lied about it. She got $2 million in some sort of settlement or something, blah, or whatever. Then, then she was found out to be lying. Video evidence proof her confessing that she made the entire thing up. The entire thing up. Has she served one day in jail? Nope. At best, they're trying to get some of the money back. This man's life is still destroyed, so I'm sorry. I refuse to believe women who just say it without proof. I, I hear you're going with this. I understand what you're saying. I don't know. It was just my whole defense thing because you sometimes women, I don't know. Sometimes women what? Um, I want to understand why you women it's do like this. A fear, maybe it's a fear thing. Maybe they just don't know how to go about things. She seems pretty young, you know, and mentally, where she probably just was naive and didn't know what to do in her situation. Okay, so I want to get this straight. You as a woman automatically give excessive benefit of the doubt to the woman. In order to do that, maybe she didn't know. Maybe she was afraid. Maybe she was terrified. Maybe she was this. So you give all that benefit of the doubt to her. Then that means you take it from his side. So that man is automatically guilty. And then he has to overcome her being young, not knowing where to go. So every woman's a victim. It's believe all women. Well, I hope you I hope you have this mindset when somebody does this to your son. I hope so. No. I hope so. No, because they're gonna they're gonna be a woman says, hey, maybe, maybe Miss Angel, maybe your son, maybe she didn't know, maybe she didn't do this, maybe she didn't do that. You know, these women are scared. So when they lock your son up, take his rights, ruin his life, life, not as because once that's out there, it's there forever. It never goes away. I hope you're as understanding and, and say, well, you know what? She was scared. She didn't know. And I then really if she done right. I don't think my son would ever be in that situation. I'm just saying. I want you guys to understand what she just said. I raised my son right. I don't think he'd ever be involved in that situation. You mean involved with a vindictive lying woman? Yeah. And you sound crazy. How? Do you live in the United States of America? Yes, I do. How do I sound crazy? I'm. My you son don't think your son being in this country could get caught up with a vindictive lying woman? I would hope. <laughs> I would hope that he would have a little more sense because I raised. How the French bit. toast do you know someone? So your son is supposed to use the force to divine whether or not she has the capability of being a vindictive lying woman. But you don't have the same standard for women that they should use the force and recognize they're involved with an abuser. Ma'am, you're the problem. You're the problem and the pro you're the problem. Men are guilty until proven innocent. I, don't want you, I, 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 I dare you to show this to your brother. I don't believe that. I don't believe men are I guilty. Dare, I dare you to show this to your brother and say that I'm raising my son in a way that he his first defense about being involved with a vindictive lying woman is to not be around her. Women know they can use this stuff. Ma'am, do you not understand how often false charges are filed? If you live in this country, a simple Google search, a false rape, false violence charges, you will have more reading than you can get through in an entire year. College, professional, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what race. So you think that you can raise your son 
to combat a system that you participate in. You just were part of the lynch mob. All a woman has to do is say he did something. That's it. All she has to do is make the allegation. Then that's your son's ass. And you like the world to be that way? No. Then how can he protect himself from it? I was just saying that we don't know her situation exactly. I mean, the fact that she was even talking to him still, that was something else, but I don't know. I just got defensive with that. Because- Guys, I need you to understand. This is how this is how deep it goes. This is why women identify with women above anything else. Even with all the logic I've just gave, even with the contradictions, you are still, still trying to come down and find a way to soften the blow for women. I'm just saying that we don't know all the evidence. So men should just be open to having their lives destroyed until we know. And man, we have to have an we have to have a neutral system. If we don't know, then we don't believe until we have what? Until we have what? We have a system, we have a we have a system of laws. Because let me tell you something. They, in this country, there used to be laws against women. I used to call you a witch. I used to just call you a witch. And you know what? We, we would either burn you at the stake or we would, we would sit you. Uh, we would actually uh, throw you in a river because witches are made of wood. Is that it? Witches are made of... No. If you float, you're made of wood and we would burn you at the stake because witches are made of wood. And if you sank... That means you're not made of wood, thus a holy woman, and you'd be innocent. Either way, you would die. You like those laws? No. You like those things? No. No proof is necessary. That woman looked at me. She put a hex on me. Oh, well, let's, let's, let's try her for being a witch. Do you realize how hysteria plays? That's why you have laws. Burdens of proof. So... We should just believe women. And this is, a, and you're a woman that has a son and thinks your son is going to be safe because you taught him right from wrong. What if he gets with a woman whose mother, who's, who's, who taught her to get what you got to get, girl? You do know women play games, right? Yes. You know, women can lie about, you know, before, you know, what was it? What's the stat? 30%, I don't want to misquote the stat, but an an inordinately high amount of married children come back not being the fathers. Women often lie about paternity. So do you understand that women have, can, and will lie in their own best interest? I understand, but I don't, I don't think that it's all women, you know? Why does that matter? Okay, maybe that's why I don't understand. Why does it need to be absolute value? Why does it need to be 100% of all women in order to make what I'm saying valid? Because I feel like sometimes when you say certain things, like on your YouTube channel when I'm watching your live, I feel like you like categorize women as a whole, calling them modern, and then- Are they modern women? I mean, like certain traits that you say. No, ma'am, are they, what is it? No, 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 no. Modern women are women of the modern era. See, this this is sign language in another way, guys. I want you to understand that women like yourself, you are fine with generalizations that benefit women. But just because you want to say that, I don't feel like all, anything. Well, what is, what what one thing outside of death, birth, reproduction, and creation of waste? What is universal with all people? Outside of biological functions? Um, what's universal? 
Yeah, Dad. because you said you <laughs> I said that. I said that outside of that. You said, well, you said, well, I don't feel like all women should do that. So so in other words, you can't have a conversation unless 100 percent of women do something. No offense. Did you go to college? I'm in college. All right. It's a generalization based upon the facts, evidence, statistics, data. And it's broadly in in, in in conversations, you have to make generalizations because if you don't, you could never move the ball forward. And if it's if it's true for for the majority, 50.1%, then intelligent people understand that you don't have to continue to qualify everything. Cause that could you imagine having to qualify a conversation where to qualify everything? You could never talk about anything. But I want to ask you, do you hold these same positions true when women talk about men? Yes. Really? I do. So yeah. when women, so, so mm -hmm. what percentage of the women would have to uh, be, be shown to lie about domestic violence before you would say, we could say women do this? I was just, I don't know. I'm just saying that we don't know her situation exactly, you know. Okay, ma'am, what do we know about, about, see, and this is what I'm, and guys, I want you to understand the circular logic. This is why it's my opinion that men should be in charge of stuff because you ladies run your logic through your emotion. We've gone, we've gone down this path. You say, yeah, but we don't know her situation. All right, true. I didn't know her situation until later on. But what do we know about women who claim domestic violence who don't file police reports? That they're not taken seriously. What do we know about women who claim domestic violence but who don't file police reports? They're not taken seriously. Okay, that's one way. But are their claims generally true? Accurate? we don't know it could be true it could be true they just might not want to to i don't so know I, I want like you guys to understand something ma'am i'm asking you what do we know about women who claim domestic violence with no proof no police reports no nothing what percentage time what percentage in your in your opinion if you just had to guess the best guess what okay. percentage of the times of women who claim domestic violence but yet have no police reports no nothing what percentage time are these women also violators? Meaning they're violent too. Um, I don't know. Uh, probably 50% of the time. 50%. Uh, yeah. So she wasn't expecting that twist, y'all. So here's the question again. What percentage time are the women who claim domestic violence yet have no police reports, no filings? What percentage of the time are those women violent in that situation you're saying 50 percent yeah probably 50 percent so that means 50 percent of the time in this scenario it's mutual combat mm -mm. Mm -mm, no 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 that's 50 percent i mean if, if there's violence back it's mutual combat now when you when i say that 50 percent is that physical comfort is that physical But what if it's self-defense? Is that physical? Mo more than likely, it's probably physical. Oh, okay. And then how do we categorize emotional and verbal, which is you, the weapon of women more often than not? Does it rise higher than 50%? Pro most likely, yes. Thank you. So it's called mutual combat. So in your scenario, a man is the aggressor. And he initiates confrontation or conflict. And the woman only hits back or responds to, to defend herself. This is where I started to laugh at you ladies. Because do you not live in a world where you see women being verbally aggressive and emotionally abusive to their, to their significant others? Hmm? No, I'm aware that those things do you, do, Okay. So if he responds with his hands, is that self-defense? Uh-oh. 
No, I feel like it should never, it should never, oh, 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 oh. it should never be no, no, physical. No, no, no. Oh. But see, that's the, that's the, but see, the funny thing is, man, he didn't answer the question. If she's being verbal, if she's being, if she, if she, if she's being verbally violent and emotionally abusive and he responds with his hands, is that fair play? No. Okay. Why not? Because men are physically stronger than women and a real man will walk away and walk away. Thank you. Free. Thank you. That's, and that's at the root of everything, gentlemen, D ladies, that's at the root of everything. You're a woman that believes that men are stronger and men should walk away, then if that's the case, then you should keep your mouth closed and not incite a man. Because you can't whoop his ass. But how many women do that? Thank you. I don't no know. Matter, I know. Ma'am, 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 no, matter, no matter how you... Women. I'm not talking about you. Okay. That woman was almost six feet tall, five foot eleven. And I get so tired of you women saying that men should just take abuse. A real man, a real woman would know not to incite a man because you can't keep him from uh, hitting you, harming you. You're not supposed Do you. What sense does it make to agitate somebody who you cannot defend yourself against? No sense. But it happens. And even in your scenario where you said, well, in the situation where there's domestic violence, she responds 50% of the time. Well, if she's a real woman, why does she, why'd she hit back? If she's a real woman and, and she can't defend her, why didn't she just run away? Uh-oh. Uh See, the logic works either way, man. Right? If, he hit, if he's a real, if he's a, if he's a coward of a man and hit her, why wasn't she a real woman and just run away? Why'd she hit back? I understand it's wrong. It's wrong. Do you know, do you know any? Do you know any? Do you know any? If you know any police officers or anybody who responds to these kind of things, they will tell you more often than not when they get called to a home, uh, the aggressor or the initiator of the violence is often female. The escalator is often female. Now, I'm not going to say in, but what women get fixated on is the times where women are being outright abused by vicious perpetrators. But that's not the majority of the cases. When people come on here talking about that kind of stuff, that's what your mind jumps to. But that's, that's not it. I hear the, ma you. the majority of the cases are women mutual combat he got on your nerves you got on his nerves all right leave me alone you you ain't this and she escalates and escalates and escalates he raises his voice they're both wrong but we only believe one person in this thing it got violent and i'm going to tell you on doing my show i've talked to so many women who claim this stuff and i ask okay were there any police reports filed and there have been some times where women said there have been. And I said, well, you're right to leave. If you have police reports of this or that, and this really arose. But then women who do that move that way. The women who, but the vast majority of the time when women call into my show, don't, they're, just, they're saying it just like they use the word irreconcilable differences because they still tend to be involved with the baby daddy or the child's father, just like that scenario. So due respect, I do this enough to be able to understand what I'm working with. And when I hear a woman say, I'm not there because of domestic violence, I take it with a grain of salt. And I say, okay, were the police involved? No. Are there any police reports? No. Well, I don't automatically believe you. And I'm trying to understand why as a sound, solid citizen, you don't think the same thing just because we don't know her story. We know enough about her story to know it wasn't serious enough to her to keep it from happening again, to keep the authorities involved or even to stay away from it. Yeah. That's what we do know. I think this is a good conversation because I get, I get lambasted with this stuff because women who use these terms 
rely on women like you to defend them, absent of evidence. And then it's it's for men to have to prove their innocence. That's not how this country works. In this country, you're innocent until proven guilty. No, I agree. What, and I feel like maybe it was just it was just my own um, going off of my own experience. I, I got it. I got it. That's why the first thing I asked you was, do you have a son or do you have a brother? Mm -hmm. Because your son and your brother have to be have to have men and women who think like me protecting them. Because unfortunately, there have women who will say that stuff and women like you going up their own experience. And if a man gets char charged with that kind of stuff, it can ruin his life. Not just a bad day, ruin his life. No, I know. My brother was in a similar situation where his ex-wife was terrible. Mm -hmm. So I know. And I'm going to tell you, I am concerned with what you said. I raised my son well enough to where he wouldn't get... And you, you cannot. You, you, you cannot. There's no... It happens. I went to the University of Oklahoma back in the 80s. It was a powerhouse. Uh, and one day I was in the athletic door and this girl came through after the, the, the OU won. Uh, and this is back when I'm playing for national championships uh, and knocking on doors. Hey, how you doing? And she was just going through the dorm. She was, she was, you know what she was doing. She was taking all comers, okay? Anybody who wanted to hit it, she was doing it. <laughs> okay. I'm just telling you. Mm -hmm. I was in a, I was in a, uh, my, one of my fraternity brother's dorm room. He ran track. She knocked on the door. And this dude named Z came through. Hey, hey man. And I'm like, I'm good. Right, but I was like, man, I was like, ah, oh, we good. Peace out. They went on and kicked it and did whatever they did, right? We left. Three weeks later, they're arresting Z. And four other guys, three other guys were raped. You know what happened? That girl went back to her sorority. And her sorority said, and she told about her fun night at the athletic dorm, where she was in up doing guys in her dorm. She was doing them left and right, enjoying it. I saw her going through them. But what happened was that story got back to her dad. Her dad was an oil and gas big wig. And when he talked to his daughter, because it got around that his daughter, that his baby girl was going through the dorms with these athletic, what did she do? She cried. Lied. Rape. She, was she cried rape. And these guys went up there and the police came and talked to these guys. And they talked to the police without, without, um, Benefit of counsel. Uh, they had him in there. And these guys didn't know what to do. Incriminated themselves. Hell, I got called in. I got asked. I was like, I was in the dorm that night. They took our testimony. But guess what? When those guys went to trial, none of the people who were there that night said that girl was knocking on doors, offering. We were never put on stand. Those guys served time. Real time. Ruined their lives. Because that girl had to protect her reputation because her father was a oil and gas big wig and uh, he couldn't think of his daughter going through the dorms, just getting trains ran on her by these black guys. Duke lacrosse, you familiar with them? The Duke lacrosse team. No. You ever heard of them? Just Google it, ma'am. You go, go Google false rape accusations on college campuses. False rape accusations, false. And as a men's advocate, I grew up, I have a daughter. I grew up with my mother and her her, her sisters. And I'm gonna tell you, I, I've said this before and I said it again, I've seen more women be violent with men than I've seen it the other way. Hot grits thrown on men, boiling water, women going over over men's house, destroying property. We see this in movies, right? A guy does something to a woman and she slaps him across the face, and all the women in the audience, yay! The very the TV show The View. 
where you had when I'm doing Barbara Walters, all these old, older older women, and talked about chopping a man's Johnson off, and then she threw it in the blender. Ha ha ha! They sat on camera talking. They sat on national TV laughing about this. And could you imagine a world where men sat on TV talking about chopping off any part of a woman and throwing it in a blender because he was heartbroken? We we allow one way violence from women to men to where we codify it in law, to where the populace will just believe women based upon a loose allegation with no proof. And that's what just kind of happened here. And due respect, I could sense that your heart was in the right place, but we gotta get you ladies to understand that just because the horrible things that happened to you, women should not be able to use that to their benefit without any proof. They're using women like you. They're using your pain. They're using your, your, your situation to their benefit. So they're manipulating you, men, and the system. And I think that's as wrong as men being accused. I don't think it's right that you ladies go defend them because they know you can't defend against that stuff. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's why I push back so much about it to have the conversation. People, people will probably actually watch this, and um, Lord knows what's going to happen. My critics and detractors are going to cherry pick the clips, but I think we got to a point of understanding that that no matter what happens, violence between men and women is wrong. No one should put their hands on anybody. I agree. And I also don't think, but I also am strong against verbal violence and emotional violence. You should not instigate either. You should just leave each other alone mm -hmm. because um, words and, and, and emotions hurt as well. So all that stuff is toxic. Uh, but the crazy part about this is, I don't know if you know, but I know people who did that stuff because it kind of got them sexually excited and they went out and had makeup sex. I don't, that's why I say I don't understand it, but I don't put my hands on nobody. So, all right, then that was a good conversation. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. All right, you too. Bye.